Hi, this is Tom from BIM4 Interior Design and in this tutorial for Revit I will show you how to create a wall niche which is parametric so you can adjust it easily you can change the depth you can change the width and height and you can change the elevation from the level quite easily you can use it in the wall or you can use it as a niche in the shower and it's also properly visible in your floor plan okay let's close this file and let's start with the starting file that I prepared and here I've got no niche in the shower and I would like to create a niche so we will start a new family so we will go to File, new family and I will use English and we will use generic uh, metric model and it will be generic model wall based we will open a new file and first let's save it save the family and let's save it to the desktop and let's name it BFID First, let's go to the placement side view and let's first create some reference planes. Now, I don't want these reference planes to be weak or strong. I want it to be not a reference plane. If you want to know why, you can check out my tutorial on the difference between strong, weak and not a reference. But I will use not a reference and I will create one reference plane, second one, third one, fourth one and this will be the size of the niche so now I will dimension the different the distance between these reference planes and I will also change the scale to something better and let's make these parameters so I will make this and I will make it you could choose type but I prefer it I prefer it to be instance and I will name this width parameter so now it's par parametrized and I will make parameter from this one too and it will be height and again it will be instance parameter uh, now let's go to the family types and here we've got our parameters so let's change the default height to be let's say 400 and default width to be let's say 200 and let's lock them so they are locked in our family uh, family editor and let's move this plane to the right you can see that the width remains locked now let's make it so that it's uh, aligned equivalent from both sides of the center and this one we don't have to align like this but important thing is how high the niche is from the floor you want to have some default values so I will dimension from here to the uh, reference uh, to the reference level and let's change this to 1000 and you can see because this uh, parameter is locked it it moves accordingly now let's move these let's move these i should have prepared it better but we can fix it like this so now we've got our, our placement side prepared let's go to the reference level and here we will create another reference plane which will be the depth of the niche so we will dimension again from the uh, from the reference plane to the reference plane on the placement side and let's change the scale 
and let's make this parameter again let's make it instance and name it depth okay and let's try flexing it so let's make it 100 lock it and apply and you can see that the reference plane is moving uh, with the with the change of the parameter We've got all of our reference planes prepared, so now in the placement side view we will actually create the niche and we will use the void forms tool and we will use void extrusion. Select rectangle and create void extrusion like this. We can lock these lines to the reference planes even though Revit will do it automatically. And now let's finish creating the void and we cannot see anything here but when we go to the reference level you can see that the void is created but here is the placement side that's the important thing it will be cutting the wall in the in, on the opposite side not on the placement side so we have to adjust the void so we will use the align tool and we will align to the depth line and we will align this part of the void and then we will align to the front of the wall and we will align this part of the void and again it's important to lock it okay but when we take a look at the 3d view you can see that there's the void but it's not actually cutting the, vo the wall so we have to use the cut tool to tell Revit that we want to cut the wall with the void and now it's actually cutting cutting the wall you can see it in the shaded view that it's properly cutting it and when we try flexing the niche you can see that when we change the depth to 50 and apply so what's the problem when we go to reference Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't lock it. Okay, so I have to align again and align to uh, the align tool now doesn't work. So I have to use these uh, these handles, move it here, and now lock it. So I forgot to lock. Uh, use the lock. Now it should work. When I change the depth to one hundred, it changes. When I change the height to 500, it changes, and the width, it changes. Okay. I will check one more thing. In the reference level view, I will select the wall and change the thickness of the wall to 300. And you can see that the niche is flexing appropriately even when I change the thickness of the wall. That's quite important. The niche is ready for us to load it into our project. So let's load it into project. And when we are placing the niche, we are placing it its wall-based family. So we are placing it into the wall or onto the wall. And it's important on which part of the wall you click. You can see that the listening dimensions switch. And I want to click on this left side of the wall because this will be the placement side. So when I click here, you can actually see that I have placed my niche. And when I take a look at my 3D view, you can see that my niche is placed here. So I go to the level one view. I can change, I can now change the width. 1200 I can change the height to 600 and let's say I want to have the niche aligned to this middle base and I can also change the elevation from the level because when I take a look at the 3d view it's quite low so I can change the elevation to 1200 so the niche is placed here so let's also place a niche into our shower so again at the level one view I will 
place component and I will place the niche and you can see that I can even in my elevation view I can see the niche properly and I can change the depth 1500 let's change the height and let's change the width to something more appropriate and I can also move the niche so it's a line it's placed like this you can also see that if I dimension the niche and distance from the floor it's the size and the elevation from the level is according to my is according to my parameters so this type of niche it's much more simple to use than when you would have some wall openings and you would have to have compound walls and this kind of stuff I prefer to have niche family like this now let's do one more thing with our niche to make it even more uh, flexible and that is here the niche is okay but here in the in the shower I've got tiles here so I've got comp compound uh, compound wall which has got ceramic tile as the finish on the inside and the ceramic tile is 30 millimeters thick and I would like to have representation of the ceramic tile even in my niche okay so how do I do that I will go to my niche family and in the reference uh, level I will create just a representation. I will actually not model it, but make it just a representation uh, annotation so that in the reference, uh, in the floor plan, it will be visible, but I will not model it. So how do I do that? I will create new four reference planes. So I will make sure again that they are not reference. So I'll create one, two, three, and four. And these will be the thickness of the of the ceramic tiles. So I will create dimensions like these. And from the back of the niche, oops, like this. And I will create a new parameter. And sorry, so I will create a new parameter and I will name it ceramic thickness. And let's make it type, it can be oh, let's make it instance, it's better to be instance. Okay, and let's lock the size and let's make it 20 millimeters just for tutorial's sake let's select all of these dimensions and assign them the ceramic uh, ceramic thickness okay and now i will annotate and i will create masking region okay let's make sure uh, we could make it cut but i prefer not to have a thick line so i will make it just generic models projection and Let's create lines and let's create one, two, three, four. Let's make it like this. And let's choose finish edit mode. Revit should automatically lock those lines to the reference planes, but let's make sure and uh, flex the family. So let's change the thickness to 200 and let's change the width to 500. Okay, so now we can load again into the family and overwrite the existing version. And you can see that I've got the, I've got the, the representation of the tiles here, but the thickness is wrong. But I can select the niche and change the ceramic tile thickness to 30, which is the same as the 
thickness here so it works appropriately okay but now here I've got again the ceramic tiles representation and I don't want to have it here so to for the niche to work in both uh, in both situations we have to make visibility parameter so let's go to our family again to the reference level let's select the let's select the detail item and here in the visibility option we click this associate family parameter and we will create a new parameter and it will be named tile or ceramic tile visibility and let's make it type so we will have two types of the niche okay now we will create we will go to family types and we've got just one type and it has got ceramic tile visibility let's change the name and so I will rename this type and I will name it with ceramic tile and I will create a new one I will name it with without ceramic, ceramic tile okay and this one without ceramic tile I will uncheck the book ceramic tile visibility so I've got these two types okay now let's load it into our project again. Let's overwrite the version even with its parameter values. And you can see that both of the niches now are without the ceramic tile. So I will choose this one and change it from the type one remained from before. But now I will change it to with ceramic tile and it's with this one is without I could easily change this one again to uh, with ceramic tile but I don't want that I will choose without the last thing I want to show you is related to the ceramic tile problem and that is the material of the inside of the niche by default the inside of the niche has got the default wall material assigned to it if you want to know more about the openings material and niche material you can check out my tutorial which will be linked in the description box below but uh, to make it easy here uh, I've got these yellow tiles here and I would like to have the yellow tiles even in my niche so I will I will use the I will use the paint tool which is here not remove paint but paint and I will check the I will choose the pearl ceramic tiles material which is this one and I will click on this uh, this face this face and then this face this face and the top face and now all of the all of the inside of the niche has got the same tile material as the wall so this is it for the niche tutorial if you want to use this model that I created in this tutorial you can download it from for free on my Gumroad page which will be linked in the description box below and if this tutorial helped you smash that like button and subscribe and you will hear from me soon take care